Greetings, members one and all of the Salivation Nation. Have scientists finally figured out a way to prove the ancient and old art of alchemy? Let's find out. And let's also find out how, if scientists haven't done it, how a young 16-year-old boy may have finally done it in a different way. This comes to us here uh, from Business Insider. We're going to take a look at two articles that talk about how Chinese scientists have turned copper into a material that's almost identical to gold. And uh, quotes here. And uh, I had uh, members of the community have made me aware of this. And I read these articles and uh, it was really kind of underwhelming. But we'll take a look at it anyway because there is some interest in this. But really... Uh, the headline pretty much says it all. It doesn't turn it into gold. And, uh, and here's the other headline here. It's extremely similar to gold and silver. And it talks about, you know, gold and silver. So let's take a look at this and see exactly what's going on here. Uh, the the subheadlines talk about how Chinese scientists have turned copper into a material that is almost identical to gold from this new study, and it will reduce the use of rare and expensive metals in factories. So a team of Chinese researchers has turned cheap copper into a new material almost identical to gold, according to a study published on Saturday in the peer review Journal of Science Advances. The discovery would significantly reduce the use of rare expensive metals in factories, the author said. And Professor Sun Jian and his colleagues at the Dalian Institute of Chemical Physics at the Chinese Academy of Sciences in Liangming shot a copper target with a jet of hot electrically charged argon gas. The fast-moving ionized particles blasted copper atoms off the target, the atoms cooled down and condensed on the surface of a collecting device, producing a thin layer of sand. Each grain of the sand had a diameter of only a few nanometers, or a thousandth of a size of a bacterium. The researchers put the material on a reaction chamber and used it as a catalyst to turn coal to alcohol, a sophisticated and difficult chemical process that only precious metals can handle efficiently. The copper nanoparticles achieve the catalytic performance extremely similar to that of gold or silver. Sun and collaborators said in a statement posted on the Academy's website on Saturday, the results proved that after processing metal copper can transform from chicken to phoenix, said Sun, who was not immediately available for comment. Copper has a similar weight and look to gold, which is completely false. Uh, for centuries, it has attracted alchemists who saw it as a gateway to instant riches. And really, when I read that, that's when I kind of just brushed off this uh, this article because copper does not have a similar weight and look to gold at all. It's completely different in the look and the weight. The new material created by Sun's Labs cannot be used to make fake gold pennies for uh, density remains the same as ordinary copper. Well, there you go, and that's part of the uh, part of what makes gold gold. But the process could prove lucrative and provide a significant boost for Chinese industries, according to, to the researchers. Precious metals remain central to modern economies. The components of electrical devices, for instance, contain a large amount of gold, silver, and platinum. Um, about forty smartphones can contain as much gold as a ton of ore. It has been estimated. Copper cannot function as well as gold in industrial applications, mainly because there are fewer electrons, subatomic particles with negative charge buzzing around its nucleus. These electrons are also relatively unstable, so copper tends to react more easily when combining with other chemicals. The method developed by Sun's team can inject a large amount of energy into copper atoms and made the electrons more dense and stable, they said. The new material can resist high temperatures, oxidation, and erosion, according to the researchers. It's like a warrior with a golden armor in a battlefield, capable of, of withstanding any enemy assault, they said. So that is interesting. They can change some of the, um, 
the the properties, the physical properties of the metal with electrons, um, and uh, but it doesn't mean it's gold by any stretch of the imagination. And I don't even know if it really how much help it really would have in those advances. Gold is used is used much less um, than uh, than silver uh, for a lot of these processes. And here uh, in this article, it does address silver in it. And let's see what they have to say. Uh, here from the inquirer.net. It talks about how scientists in China have found a way to turn ordinary copper into a new material with properties extremely similar to precious metals such as gold and silver. It's published in the Journal of Science Advances on December 1st and was led by Professor Sun Jian. The research team at the Dalian Institute of Chemical Physics at the Chinese Academy of Sciences blasted copper atoms all from a copper target using electrically charged argon gas. The displaced atoms were collected in the device to cool down and condense, and they discovered they produced a thin layer of sand, which, which grain estimated to only a few nanometers in diameter. So basically, it's the same type of thing they're talking about there. And, um, and here, but it says copper, which was not placed in, used in place of gold in industrial applications because of the instability of its fewer electrons, can now be used to boost Chinese industries. The method the researchers developed made the copper's electrons more dense and stable. The nanoparticles are exhibited properties such as resistance to temperatures, oxidation, and erosions. And, uh, and then they use the chicken to phoenix uh, analogy here. It's a significant discovery for China's economy. The researchers warned that although the material has a similar weight and look like gold, which is contrary to the other, other articles because it says it doesn't uh, uh, alter density at all, the nanoparticles cannot be used to make fake gold coins, the report stated, it's because of density that may not be still the same as that of ordinary copper. Uh, well, yeah, well, the weight is not changed at all then. That's kind of an, a misleading statement there. Weight and look like gold. When people think of weight, well, an ounce is an ounce, an ounce of copper, an ounce of gold, an ounce of copper is much larger, takes up much more space than an ounce of gold. Uh, so very interesting indeed. Um, I imagine this is somewhat of a of a breakthrough to, to some point, but uh, I don't know how much really um, you can be saying where you alter it to make that similar, I guess, in, I guess in the electron uh, forces or what have you for some applications. I wonder how expensive this will be to produce um, in time. We shall see. But nonetheless, somewhat of an underwhelming. I guess it could help with some of their things, but I don't know how much really gold is used. Silver, possibly, where well, they could maybe replace it for some of, the, some of that. But again, to produce it, much less just using silver and silver's unique properties, I don't even know uh, how much effect this could really have. But uh, on a more realistic level, as far as really turning copper into gold, this article from Coin World comes to us from Donald in New Mexico, and how this 16-year-old boy who found in 1943 copper cent in circulation in 1947 is about to turn it into gold with a much easier process. Yes, if he so desired, that is. Uh, this is the picture of the 1943 cent that was found in circulation in 1947. Um, it was discovered uh, as many of the highlights of a Heritage January 10th Platinum Night Auction uh, that will be part of the fun show that's the Florida United Numismatist Convention in Orlando, Florida. Don Lutes Jr. was a 16-year-old student at a Pittsfield, Massachusetts high school when he discovered one of only around 20 examples known of a Philadelphia Mint 1943 Lincoln cent struck on a bronze planchet. All 1943 cents were supposed to be struck on zinc-coated steel planchets to conserve bronze for the war effort, but a few 1943 copper cents got out of the mint. Heritage writes, the appeal of the 1943 copper cent far transcends traditional numismatics, as the issue also captured the imagination of coin collectors, school children, and members of the general public alike. When Lutes found the unusual cent, he set it aside as a curiosity, but his interest was raised when he heard a rumor that Henry Ford would offer a new car to anyone who located a 1943 copper cent. The young man wrote to Ford Motor Company 
and the Treasury Department who informed him in regard to your recent inquiry, please be informed that copper pennies were not struck in 1943. All pennies struck in 1943 were zinc-coated steel. Following that terse response, he kept the unusual find in his collection for more than a decade before showing it um, to Walter Breen, who declared it genuine in 1958 at the New England Numismatic Association Convention in Worcestershire, Massachusetts. Quite interesting. So from 19, essentially from 1947 to 1958, um, 11 years, he thought it was just, he didn't think it was genuine. But he kept it. Wise decision by Mr. Lutes. Both David Lane's Complete Guide to Lincoln Sense and Authoritative Reference on Lincoln Sense by John Wexler and Kevin Flynn identify the discovery coin. Accompanying the scent is a small packet of research material. Heritage's cataloger wrote, The present coin is as lightly circulated olive brown specimen with hints of steel and copper red patina in selective areas. Noting, the complete original surfaces are lightly ab abraded, aside from a short horizontal gouge below the three and a slight slanting mark at the top of the one in the date. The bust is glossy, and a few subtle hints of original mint luster remain intact in selected areas. The scent is certified at about uncirculated 53 by Numismatic Guarantee Corp. That's NGC. There's a restripe versus the original. Heritage continues to offer installments of the Greensboro Collection, and upcoming fun auctions will present Part uh, 7, which includes no Noble Group approved cat bust silver coins from the 1820s. So there's going to be other coins that are going to be offered at this auction, which be, will be quite interesting to see. But nonetheless, this particular coin, this 1943 cent here, um, it will be sold at this auction. It'll be very interesting to see what it brings. My guess is over a million dollars. And you can buy a lot of gold with a million dollars. So I'm, I'd be curious to see. That's the alchemy, the more realistic alchemy that uh, can occur today. You take a piece of copper, just essentially that's worth, you know, a couple of cents uh, in its intrinsic value, and you can turn it into uh, potentially a million dollars worth of gold if you so desired. I hope that he does that. My guess is he probably won't. But nonetheless, it is interesting, the rarity of this coin. Fascinating indeed. So post your thoughts below about um, turning copper into gold. Alchemy, done the hard way um, through electrons with argon gas, uh, and it's really not turning copper into gold, or doing it the easy way, if you've got a rarity that you've found in change, that would be this 1943 copper cent, taking the proceeds from the auction minus auction fees, and going out and picking yourself a couple of nice, sweet, dense gold, pure gold bars. I can't think of a better way to end the day, and I can't think of a better way to practice the lost art of alchemy. In my view, I just don't have a 1943 copper cent hanging around. Here. I'm, look, I'm looking around here. I'm, let me see here. Maybe it's underneath this. No. Perhaps it's here. Oh, no, I don't see it here. Uh, it's not. Nope. Oh, here's some copper, but it's not a... Nope, that thing's not worth... Nope. Ooh. Oh, wait, here's a cent. Let's see. But this is a... That's zinc. It's copper-plated zinc. Dang it. Not going to do it. Well, anyways, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I would like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching and encourage you to please rate, comment, and subscribe.